Do you think you have hormone issues, but you have no idea how to get started? Tune into this video to learn more about how to get started on the path to balancing your hormones and potentially getting bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Kelly O Show. So I thought I would shoot this video as a follow-up to this like impromptu mini-series I've been doing on TikTok and Instagram uh, that has spurred quite, I've got hair sticking to my lip gloss, quite a lot of questions about this whole topic of hormones, hormonal imbalance, and how to get started if you want to proceed down the route of getting your hormones balanced and potentially um, on the path to getting compounded uh, hormones or hormone treatment or bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. So I'm gonna link down below to two videos I recorded and uploaded on my YouTube channel here uh, several years ago when I first started uh, getting my hormones checked by a functional medicine doctor, when I first went on bioidentical hormones. So um, I'm recording this in 2023. I've now been on bioidenticals for probably about seven and a half years. So I think I started in 2015. I'll check the date of my first video and we'll look at the exact uh, times. But um, you know, the bottom line is what, what I know now after having been through the time period before, I finally got my blood work done, finally got connected with a functional medicine doctor, finally got on the path to seeing how much my health and my life improved and eventually and inevitably my weight loss and my body improved most recently um, with the right customized uh, compounded bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment plan by the right functional medicine doctor. Um, I, I can also see what, what I was doing and the mistakes I was making before that. And, and I know, and I see it, and I spot this all the time with so many other women um, making these same mistakes. And I understand it, I can relate to it, I have compassion for it but I'm just gonna be a clanging bell. <laughs> I'm gonna be a loud mouth and be the person who wants to get the message out about number one, what you need to know about bioidenticals and, and hormone balance and why this is so important because this can dramatically, dramatically change your life for the better. And if you ignore your hormones alternatively, if you ignore your hormones as you get older, and hormone, hormones can start to get imbalanced or start to go haywire as early as your mid-30s. For some women, they're starting to go haywire even in their mid-20s. I've interviewed a couple of people on my podcast that I'm thinking of specifically, Lori Christine King and Alex Mazurko, both of them. Um, I will link to those below, those interviews on my podcast. Uh, both of those ladies were, you know, uh, and they're both in the fitness industry, both of them are trainers. Um, both of them have had to start some serious healing, reverse dieting, um, and a serious, um, you know, work with functional medicine doctors, gut doctors, and even hormone treatment in their mid twenties. So that certainly isn't the case across the board, but what I'm saying is considering all of the environmental factors, our food and lifestyle choices, um, the things that are affecting our hormones um, from before we're even born, and then you combine that with our lifestyle choices and environmental factors, things that are beyond our control. Hormone change can, can start happening, hormone disruption can start happening earlier in life than you think. And when that does happen, and then when you start to enter into the natural hormone disruption of perimenopause, menopause, and so on, you know, you're talking about some pretty major <laughs> disruption of life. Um, I mean, some of the side effects or symptoms that you will experience when your hormones start to go haywire are, you know, insomnia, night sweats, weight gain is obviously the big one for women, um, thinning hair, loss of hair, adult acne, mood swings, brain fog, 
uh, inability to focus, I guess that would go with brain fog. Um, uh, I said mood swings, acne, uh, brain fog is big, hair loss, I'm about to sneeze. Usually they come in threes, but now they're coming in twos. Um, those were, I think those were probably some of the high points of, of some of the symptoms. It's loss of libido, that's a big one. Sex life, your sex life can be damaged. Uh, vaginal dryness, um, those are just some of the, the symptoms. But again, you know, that's why it used to be in, in the olden days that when women would go into menopause, you know, they, it was thought that, you know, your life was older. You were just put out to pasture. That's not the case anymore. I'm actually 53 years old. I'm actually on the other side of menopause. I'm already past menopause. And let me tell you something, I am living my best life. I am in better shape. I look better and feel better than I did at 33, at 20, then even at 23, quite frankly. Um, by no means uh, can I tell you that my sex life is over. In fact, it's better than ever. Um, my, like I said, as far as how I look, how I feel, how I function, how my fitness is, how my energy is, all of those things. Energy, by the way, that's another uh, symptom that you will notice when you're, um, when your hormones start to go haywire, you will have lack of energy. Um, that's a big one, actually. So um, your life can be so much better when your hormones are balanced. You can actually get to these th this time of life where you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and looking ahead and be going, these are the best chapters of my life. I'm looking forward to it versus going, oh, life is over now. No, no, that's not it at all. In fact, this is why I wanna talk about this so much. Shake the stigma away from these words like perimenopause and menopause. So, that said, that's my experience. Um, and obviously I will do a lot more videos on this coming up on, on this channel. Um, but today I wanna to just wrap up the second part of this video with you know, a, a brief intro of what to expect with uh, getting on the path to, you know, getting your hormones balanced, the costs associated with it, you know, is insurance gonna cover it? Um, and then, you know, how to get started. And of course, down below, you'll find my email address. Obviously, it's just kelly at kellyalexa.com. You can email me if you have any questions. Um, one of the things that I do offer, I'm obviously not a doctor, but, uh, <laughs> dog is out there driving my husband crazy. Um, one of the things I, I have just become, number one, I'm so passionate about this, and number two, I have become so experienced in this area, and it is so confusing for so many women. They tend to have so many questions. They're confused, like, why can't I just go to my PCP? Why is it bad to be on the pill? Why is it, why is spironolacto not a good drug? I don't understand. You know, they're just totally lost and they don't understand, why would I pay this much for bioidentical hormones? Why can't, why isn't progesterone a good idea? Why, why, you know, there's just a lot of whys. So, you know, not that this is the core area of my business, but I do offer, if you're interested, um, and I do wanna make this clear, if you're interested and you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, um, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting at the, you know, usually, typically, most people will just hire me for like half an hour, ask any and all the questions versus taking the time to, you know, go through all of these videos and watch them. Um, then you can ask me very specifically what your questions are, and then we can get you on the right path to getting you connected with the right kind of doctor, um, potentially hook you up with my doctor, um, but I can answer all of your questions one-on-one. -on -one. So that is an option for you as well if you wanted to hire me um, consulting-wise. It's kind of like a concierge service that I offer, um, but certainly by no means is that necessary. I just did want to throw that out because a lot of women are like, I don't have the time to watch a lot of videos can you just help me one-on-one -on -one and help me cut to the chase that is something that I do offer so as a side note that's out there so how do we get started if you are new to this and you and you want to get started <sighs> computers um, let me tell you some of the things that I want you to keep in mind what not to do first so the, the important things to keep in mind are that when you're getting started and you, you suspect that your hormones you, you're experiencing some of those symptoms that i talked about um, 
What you don't want to do, and I will go into detail as to why you don't want to do this in another um, uh, video, is don't think that you can go to your primary care doctor, your OBGYN, an endocrinologist, or even really most naturopathic doctors. Um, those are the kind of people who are going to give you a, a very poor experience. These are the type of people who are typically going to put you on an antidepressant drug. They're going to put you on the pill. They're going to put you, they're going to tell you, oh, it's just that time of life. Get over it. Um, I've heard horror stories about what people have experienced with their primary care, their OB, an endocrinologist, or a naturopath. It doesn't mean all of them are bad, but the pro the the vast majority of them where I've had clients come to me who, where they're in my, uh, my weight loss programs, um, they've had horrible experiences. And then now that they're with a functional medicine provider, they're getting the right kind of care. So that's what you don't want to do is rely again on your primary care doctor, your OBGYN, an endocrinologist or naturopath. What you do want to be looking for is Googling a functional medicine uh, practitioner, a functional medicine doctor in your area. Now, again, I do want to reiterate, I'm happy to refer you to my doctor, who is Dr. Ruthie Harper. She is uh, available in Austin, Texas. For what it's worth, I've never actually seen her in person. I've only done telemedicine with her. So um, she is available for accepting new patients. Um, there are some rules for people who are outside of Texas. That is something to keep in mind. Um, but she will explain that to you when you know you talk with her on the phone. But I have referred no less than probably 30 patients to her who are very, very happy. I was getting a hiccup there, excuse me. So um, that's who you wanna look up uh, when you're starting down the path on, on functional medicine. Now, costs and insurance. Get ready because it is highly likely your insurance is not going to cover bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. There are some things that might be covered by your insurance depending on what insurance you have. I just signed up for new insurance this January and it looks like my thyroid medication might be covered by my insurance policy. Um, most of my other stuff is not. I think I might have even seen that some policies are covering like estrogen for some people. It really depends. Um, it's interesting. I mean, anything really that can be put out by Big Pharma is going to be covered. Stuff like this that cannot be put out by the big, you know, companies such as that, they're not going to be covered by insurance. So it is what it is. Um, but when you realize how life changing this can be, and, and if it's at all possible, you'll want to make room for it in your budget. Now, that said, what are the associated costs? So there's three things that you're gonna be, you're gonna, ugh, that you're gonna be paying for um, with this kind of treatment. You'll be paying for your consult with your doctor. You'll be paying for your actual um, compounded, which basically means it's customized for you. Your compounded medicine, your compounded, bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment or, or meds, and then you're gonna be paying for your blood work, okay? So with regards to the consults with your doctor, most doctors, whether you're seeing them in person or whether you're seeing them over the phone, are typically gonna charge anywhere from, for a half an hour visit, $125 to $250. That tends to be the range. And then if it's a, for an hour, it's gonna be anywhere from, I'd say 350 to $500 at the most for an hour. Um, that's not cheap, but this is a lot different experience than what you're used to when you go to a primary care and OBGYN, <clears throat> when they're rushing you through. And they're like, you know, not even listening to you. They're just looking at a pad of paper and writing your prescription and getting you out the door. This is literally a half an hour of customized time or an hour of customized time where it's collaborative. You get to have a say in the conversation. They have a say in the conversation. They're taking notes. It's all about you. You will feel so different and you will know that you are getting your money's worth. It's not a $50 copay, but it's an investment and it really pays off. Number two, uh, blood work. Blood work can tend to be the most expensive part of the conversation, but I'm gonna save you a lot of money. 
Down below, I have put a link to a company I work with out in Phoenix called Ulta Lab Tests. Now, the great thing about Ulta Lab Tests is they are partnered with Quest Labs. Quest Labs, we've all heard of them, right? So the great thing is, is that whatever doctor you tend to use, whenever they order blood work for you, they're typically gonna order blood work for you, give you a blood work order and say, get this done at Quest Labs. And then usually you would go call Quest Labs, you would give them that blood work order. And then sometimes it really depends on your insurance company or um, your doctor's office, but you would either pay your doctor directly or you would have your doctor submit it to insurance. It really depends. I haven't done it that way in so long, I forget. But with this, and by the way, I remember when I started with my current doctor, she said, they, they had said, with all of the blood work that I'm ordering, it's a lot of tests, okay? A, you're testing a lot of stuff. I'm happy to provide you with a copy of all of the things that I have tested on a quarterly basis so you can see. But um, she had said, her staff had told me, they're like, it'll probably cost you about $2,000 for all of this blood work at Quest Labs. Well, guess what I pay? I save about $1,500 by going through Ulta Labs. You basically prepay. It's kind of like any kind of service where you know you pay up front and you save money because you've prepaid for it. So you take that same blood work order from your doctor, but instead of maybe submitting to, it to insurance and, and paying on the back end, you pay up front. So you take that same blood work order. And it takes a little bit of extra time because what I do is I get that order from my, um, for my doctor and then I have to go to Ulta Labs and then I I'm kind of manually look up each one and I, I put that in and I, I kind of, I'll, I'll kind of compare prices because they've got pre-packaged like groups and then you can order things a la carte and I'll compare and then sometimes they'll have specials going on where they're like 20% off everything on this weekend or whatever and, and so I'll prepay that way and then you prepay and then they'll say, schedule this at a Quest Labs. So you're still going to Quest Labs. It's still being executed by the same company. You're just saving $1,500 or more. Now, you might be listening to this and going, $500, that's a lot of money for blood work. You might not have to get as much blood work done as I do. If you're a man, you're not gonna have to get nearly as much done um, as I do. My husband, when he gets his blood work done, I think he probably spends, um, $150, $200. Um, so depending on how much stuff, women, we have a lot more going on underneath the hood as far as hormones than men. Um, but I will tell you this, it is so worth it to have everything tested from your thyroid to your cortisol, to your DHEA, to your, in, you know, your level of information, inflammation, your, um, your cardio, um, there's tests for cardio, heart disease, um, cancer tests. I mean, if you have a really good doctor, they're not only going to be testing for your hormones, but being proactive about anti-aging and longevity. And there's all that kind of stuff. A lot of this stuff is optional too. You know, if, if you have, a budget issue just tell your doctor say look this is super expensive for me what what can we not get right now can you know and then they'll say well i tell you what i'd really they'll probably say to you i'd really like for you kelly to get all of these done but here's what i really need to see to be able to help you like let's at least get thyroid you know hashimoto's let's do this let's do tpo antibodies let's do progesterone estrogen testosterone we can skip this for right now, but I really want you to get it in the future. You know, like they'll, they'll work with you. And some doctor's offices, just like some chiropractor's offices, will also uh, be willing to make payment arrangements with you. So always ask about that kind of stuff. So the link below will save you a lot of money. And here is also another tip. If you are new to getting your hormones started, this is going to save you um, time and money. So. The typical way that you will start, and, and I know this looks funny, but I broke a nail and I had to put a fake one on until I go to the nail place tomorrow. That's why you're seeing one that's not painted. Many of you probably didn't even notice that and now you're like, why did she tell me? So um, I see it in the camera playing back to me. Um, when you first start going to see a doctor for the first time, the typical way that they will um, start down this path with you is you will schedule an appointment with the doctor 
they will do a consult with you. They'll ask you about your history. They'll ask you about, you know, are you experiencing weight gain? They'll ask you about all this stuff. Then they'll order your blood work. Then you'll go get your blood work. Then you'll send the blood work back to the doctor. The doctor will then make another appointment with you to review your blood work. So can you see that in that case, you're paying for two consults with your doctor. So say your doctor charges $150 for half an hour and you have two consults, that's $300. What you can do to save yourself $150 for a consult is get your blood work done before you ever see a doctor. Now, are you guaranteed that you will get in that blood work everything that your doctor, your future doctor wants? No, but I'm gonna, I'm telling you, I'm willing to give you the list of what my doctor gets for me. It's nothing confidential. It's my choice to share it with you. Um, and you can look on that list and go, okay, here's what I'm able to afford to get through Ulta Lab tests. I will get this done and then I'm gonna have a pretty solid idea of some good hormones. At least I've got a starter pack. That's what I did. When I started with my doctor, uh, Dr. Harper, I took the last set of blood work from my last doctor and I said, let's start with this. And she said, okay, I'm gonna look at what you've got here. I'm gonna start you on some meds based on this and then I'm gonna have you do new blood work in six weeks after you've been on the medication I prescribed for you and we'll see where we're at there. So again, if you get your blood work done up front, it'll save you that extra consult. You see what I'm saying? So definitely click below, take advantage of um, Ulta Lab Test. Full disclosure, obviously they are a partner of mine. I will make a commission if you use them. You don't have to use them. Um, and if you hate me and you don't wanna see me use a commission, don't use my link. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, so then lastly, the th I, I'm going over the three costs. So you'll pay for your uh, doctor's visit, you'll pay for your blood work, and then you're gonna pay for your compounded medicine. Now, when I was first reading back in the day about bioidentical hormones from Suzanne Summers, which I, I love Suzanne Summers, but I think her books were the most like kind of above my head uh, uh, more than anybody else. Um, I remember thinking that bioidentical hormones would cost about $5,000 a month. Nothing could be further from the truth. I currently pay about $450 for all of my meds per month. Now, I am not saying that that is cheap. That is a car payment for many people. Um, now, my last doctor, I was paying about $250 a month. That said, with respect to my last doctor, who's fantastic, my current doctor has absolutely changed my life and with her, she's not only greatly improved my hormone balance, but I've lost 36 inches and 36, excuse me, 36 inches and 30 pounds with her uh, because she's helped me go in keto and decrease my inflammation and helped my insulin resistance so much that I'm a, I'm a completely different person. So for me, I'm willing to pay more for those hormones because she clearly knows what she's doing. Whereas the last two doctors before her, I was not able to get anywhere with weight loss. I was able to get a lot of places with my sleep getting better, my energy getting better, all of these other areas getting better, but I was just always stuck with weight loss. Um, and, and now I know why. I mean, we were not, fo we were focusing too heavy on my thyroid. We were not focusing heavily enough on insulin resistance and inflammation. My doctor is wicked smart. She really, really knows her stuff. Um, and sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to kind of test out certain doctors um, and go with your gut. When you don't like what somebody's doing, you have to be able to put your foot down and say, this isn't working for me. I pay you to, to do the job for me. And if somebody's not performing, fire them. Go find somebody else. Um, remember that. So um, just because I'm paying $450 a month doesn't mean that that's what you need to expect. You might end up paying $150 a month you might end up paying $500 a month. But I really don't think you're gonna, don't expect that it's gonna be thousands of dollars a month, that's not it. What I will tell you is this, even though that is expensive, um, it is so life-changing um, and, and can make such a difference on your quality of life, um, your relationships with your significant other and your family and your future and your whole, the decades in front of you. It is worth, trying to find room in your budget, trying to like 
move funds around and stop spending in one area so that you could afford it in this area, or finding uh, ways to earn extra income so that you could pay for that. If you have questions on how to do that, you know, how, how could I make extra income? You know, I mean, everybody knows how, there's ways to have side hustles and certainly I'm the queen of that and I have opportunities I'm happy to share with you. Um, but if that's at all possible and it's something you're willing to look into, if you need help with that, um, I'm happy to advise you on that and, and certainly just reach out via email. Um, but again, hopefully this has been a good summary for you to help you get started or at least give you a, a snapshot of what this, this looks like. But again, what you don't want to do is self-diagnose, think that you can, you know, there's a rare few people who can, you know, just whiz through perimenopause and menopause and go to Walgreens and buy some over-the-counter, you know, progesterone cream and, and be fine with it. Not most people. Most women are going to dramatically benefit um, from the anti-aging and longevity and overall health and wellness and certainly weight loss benefits that are gonna come with bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. And this also goes for men. My husband uh, takes testosterone. He also takes cortisone. Uh, it helps with his sleep. Um, we both swear by going to a functional medicine doctor and we're certainly only going to expand some of the things that we're looking into as we age. So I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Whatever questions you might have, feel free to leave in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, make sure you're subscribed and just know that I've got a lot more videos coming up here on this topic on my YouTube channel and I'm also going to have more guests coming up on my podcast, which is also linked down below. I'm going to be uh, relaunching the podcast this year. I took a little bit of a break, um, but I'm going to have more guests coming up on the podcast. And just so that you know, my podcast does have uh, already 350 plus free episodes that are available to you, many of which, and I'll link up some of my favorite episodes down below, are on the topic of hormone imbalance, adrenal fatigue, Hashimoto's thyroid, thyroiditis, that's a handful to say. Um, again, all of these topics that we've been talking about, so you can start get started listening to some of these interviews that I've had with some of these really great uh, best-selling authors, doctors. Um, I've interviewed my current doctor, my last doctor, other doctors, um, some people that could be you know, giving you some really great advice and um, that's a, another good place to get started as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you next time on The Kelly O Show. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will also link up to a playlist here that has other videos on hormones. Lots more coming down the road on this topic.